Hello, Hi Andy, it's uh, Carl at the Rubber League Outsiders. Hello Carl, how are you doing? Yeah, great, thanks mate. Um, I'm going to go straight into it Andy, uh, you're the media manager for the RFL. Um, yep. Talk me through this new streaming package that's come live. Uh, yeah, um, that, it's a very different, sorry about the noise, I'm just going to move outside <laughs> where I am. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, you know, a, a genuinely different and exciting move for the game, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but all of a sudden, I mean, I think it, it does start from the Sky Deal, to be fair. Um, you know, that, that new deal that was done last year, three-year deal, 24 to 26, suddenly all six games are, are, are being produced and, and televised by Sky. Yeah. Um, and then as part of that deal, um, Rugby League Commercial has the opportunity to launch its own OTT streaming platform, which definitely takes the game into a different era. Um, obviously, um, you know, that, that it's early days and, and it's an interesting situation this year where Rugby League fans are going to have a great option, really. They can have, they can, they can stick with Sky and, and the fantastic range of, of sports that Sky have. Uh, you know, I'm a cricket fan, so I'll stick with Sky definitely. I like that balance and the kids like football. But if you just want to watch the rugby, you can watch it on Super League Plus. So it, it suddenly feels like there's more Rugby League available than ever uh, on a range of different platforms. I've probably not asked, answered your question specifically in terms of how it's going to work. Um, I think most of your listeners will know already but just to go through it yeah. the, probably the simplest thing to say is that every week still Sky choose two games so Thursday night Friday night in the first round Paul v. Hill KR Leeds v. Salford they will be live and exclusive on Sky they will be shown on the Super League Plus uh, streaming website um, an app but not for 48 hours not until 48 hours after they finish so I think that works out to Saturday night for the whole game and Sunday night for the Leeds game yeah. Well, the other four games in that round, so uh, it's Lee and Huddersfield and Saints and London on the Friday, Catalans and Warrington and Castle Wigan on the Saturday, will all be live and available on the Super League Plus app. And that pattern will continue all through the season. Um, so, obviously, the pricing's come out today. Uh, you know, it seems a pretty good deal to me. It's 129.99, which is a lot of money, I guess, but that's for a whole 12-month package, so, you know, about 10 quid a month. Uh, but if you're a Super League season ticket holder, it's 99.99 a month uh, sorry a year and then it's 20 quid a month um, or probably 6.99 a match well it will be 6.99 a match unless you buy it on the day in which case it's 9.99 it's, it, in many ways I think rugby league fans listening to you will be familiar with the hour league model uh, mm. and that the, the pay per day model is similar to that but suddenly the monthly and, and annual passes are very different Andy um, just a, it's Craig by the way how are you doing um you know, just oh, yeah. the, the streaming that is currently going on on our league, will, will that continue? Is this as well as? Yeah. It, I mean, it, it, I, I want to bring the sportsmen in there as well um, because, you know, so far this season, we've started off with the first round of the Challenge Cup a couple of weeks ago uh, and there was the RAF Navy game was on BBC actually on the Saturday yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the sportsmen covered Olsen, James, and I can't remember who they played. Uh, it was um, Harris Finch, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Howard team. And that will continue this weekend, funnily enough. So Saturday, it's BBC streaming. Uh, I think it's Lee Miners, Stanley, and Sunday, Orson James again uh, on the Sportsman against York Acorn. So, so those games are on BBC Sportsman, and Sportsman are committed to 20 games through a range of competitions this year. So, there will still be games in our league, but it, at the moment, it's very much a work in progress what they're going to be. And as you know, our league is a free membership uh, program for the league fans. It offers lots more than matches, you know, the, the tipping competitions and, and things like that, try the month. That there'll be still a range of features and it links in as well with our league active, the, the, um, the participation membership program. Uh, there are still things to fit in and, and I think that's why probably over the next two or three weeks until the season starts on February 15th there are going to be bits and bobs that become clearer there's yeah. been some speculation about the free-to-air deal uh, which we hope will be announced fairly soon you know you'd imagine there'll also be some French coverage of the Catalans but if you're a rugby league fan in France suddenly Super League Plus opens to the option of watching all six games which is quite exciting other overseas TV deals are to be announced and then the, the reason I'm, I'm getting to this point is the uh, the the championship at the moment there's no TV coverage confirmed so you know who knows we hope there'll be a TV deal for that there are talks underway but if not again that's a possibility for our league so th there are there are lots of possibilities at the moment and I think it will be 
middle of February before we really know how all the balls are going to land. But yeah. if you're a rugby league fan, there's more to watch than ever. And it's quite exciting, I think. You know, all of a sudden, there's all these different platforms and you can take your pick. Yeah, it, 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 there's, like, like you've said, there's never been more rugby league on TV. And if we can get it out to more people, it's win-win for everybody. Very quickly, Andrew, we've only got sort of a minute left. Um, people who subscribe to the Super League Plus, is, is it going to be sort of a full commentary package, multiple camera angles, or is it going to be a, a little well, bit more basic yeah. to start with? No, no, there's nothing basic about it. And that's where I go back to the original deal. And, you know, it, Sky are producing uh, six games around. And that, as you probably know, you know, they're on Sky as well um, for the first 15 rounds. They're, they're going to be on normal Sky Linear channels. So I think Sky Sports Mix, maybe the old bit of red button. But, but you know, Sky, there will be recognisable Sky commentators and, and production that will be on Sky, but also on Super League Plus. So, you know, th- this is quality stuff. And I think it's fair to say that the quality of our league has, has increased over the last few years, yeah, actually. And, and and the whole our league, the whole our league journey has been a really interesting one, I think. You know, there were a couple of glitches early doors, but getting that OTT platform for the RFL initially is what's led on to this position now where we can do this. And, and I, I think that's, that's what I would say as well for, for your listeners is that this is year one of three. Um, it's very new. You know, there's going to be a lot developing. But in 2026, when the, when the broadcast deal is next up for grabs, we believe going to have Super League Plus as a, as a lively and profitable uh, streaming platform OTT. And suddenly that opens up lots of options. So who knows how it's going to evolve, really. This is day one of a three-year journey. Um, and yeah, exciting times. Well, Andy, thank you very much for talking to us. Really exciting. You know, I completely agree with everything you're saying. And uh, great to hear that, you know, it's going to be not, nothing basic about it. So really excited to see that. And I, for one, will be subscribing to get all those uh, those games, especially when I'm abroad, which is something I couldn't really do before. So... No, absolutely. I think it's important to stress that you know that there will be international deals to be announced, as I say. Um, now, it's unlikely we're going to get a Cyprus TV deal, so you know, or Malta, or if you're travelling, I'm sure that, that Super League Plus is the right way. But let's say there's an Aussie TV deal, it might be more complicated. Um, and the other thing, I, I remember the last time I saw you guys was in, involved in wheelchair rugby league. You know, so we've got the, the wheelchair Super League and internationals, the women's Super League. Obviously, we talked about the Challenge Cup. There are all these different bits of rugby league that are going to be shown in different places this year. Uh, and, and again, there's potential life for Super League Plus. The clues in the title, I think, it's Super League Plus. Uh, and let's see how it evolves. Yeah, brilliant. OK, thanks, Andy. Take care. Cheers, thanks Andy. again for all your support, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Cheers.